Dragon, an avocado, the seed. We got pizza. We got a unicorn. We got another avocado. We got a popsicle. We got a donut. What the? F we got a pink flamingo. You got a ball. You got a thing. You got a. You have a. Um, uh, whatever that is. A blue. What the heck, man? I'm thinking there might be a few too many pool floats. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but hey. If, if, if wifey likes it, wifey can put as many floats as she wants in there. Um, so today is a day, 12 left. We are going to play Raz, Raz, yay Raz. Low cards, low cards, that's what we want. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Anyway, so we are playing the Raz. I'm gonna get my day started here. But before I do, exciting announcement, exciting, really cool thing that I've been involved with for a couple of years now uh, as a, I don't know, associate producer or something like that on a film called Game Changers. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chris Paul, Novak Djokovic, a bunch of the 10, you know, just a whole bunch of like high powered athletes, you know, and different genres and a wide variety. Like they talk about some, they dispel some of the like myths you have about, you know, optimal dieting for high performance athletes and health and stuff like that. So without further ado, why don't you guys, for me, just check out this uh, quick little trailer for Game Changers. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak, that's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real men eat meat. But you got to understand, that's marketing. When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. When I went plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was gonna survive. And I actually became like a machine. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. Today's blood and yesterday's blood. Yeah. We all want to feel great, have more energy. Most guys my age can't keep up with their grandchildren. My grandchildren can't keep up with me. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? Be cool, huh? I think so. Anyway, uh... For me, it's an, it's an important uh, movie in a lot of ways, and I think it's important for a lot of those people who are you know athletic and you know want to be big and strong, but always thought, well, you know, as a vegan, I can't gain mass and I can't be athletic, and it would cause me to, you know, not be as effective. Mm, no, yeah, uh, exhibits all over the place, and you'll see when you see the movie, um, sort of the science behind it, uh, the logic behind it, why they believe that uh, for a lot of reasons, it's. Uh, the best way to go. So, you know, listen, this ain't me being overly preachy, but it's a big part of my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I choose not to eat animals for a lot of reasons. And, uh, you know, if you do, that's your decision and you're cool. I'm like, whatever. But I, I, I'd feel silly to not share this film with you because I think uh, at the very least, you may learn a few things that you didn't know before. Where are you going? What? I don't want people saying shit about me. Okay. <laughs> they don't even talk about Joel. So, Stapes, morning. Yeah, good morning. I was look. I was inspecting the beard uh -huh. and, and his ability to beard trim. And uh -huh. I'm gonna zoom in right here. I like that you care enough about my face. To right. Look at look at the middle thing. of his like like the little Hitler part. This part. It's, yes, it just left that there. I didn't leave it on purpose. You, or it's... did I? <laughs> Oh shit, wrong seat. Yours truly with 875,000, nine-handed. Got a funky hand just now I want to tell you about. This is a Raz hand. Nine-handed, it's crazy, right? You know, you go from playing four or five-handed to nine, and there's so many cards, right? So I'm in first position. 
with uh, three, five, six, three, six up and three, five in the hole. There's two, there's two fives and a three out. Such a good hand, you know? So I limp with this hand, looking to get some action and also balance my range with those limps there a little bit. When it gets limped around, the king stays in because nobody raised. And he, I would have caught him. Oh, cheers, man. And so I would have caught that ace. Anyway, make a long story short, by Sixth Street, we got bets going and uh, I'm drawing to a nine, six, a queen, nine, six. And, and, and then uh, Scott has like deuce, four, four, jack. So he has a jack made. The other guy has ace, king, 10, 10. So he's drawn to a 10. I'm drawn to a nine. Scott has a jack drawn to whatever. Pretty good spot with like a lot of dead cards out there, but uh, up, missed, uh, how you doing? Caught a king on the river, Scott won that one. But we're doing good. We're, we're uh, feeling really good. I like how I'm playing, like the situation. Uh, let's go. Say hi to the wifey. Look at you with the Rio two days in a row. Oh my God. Huh? Yeah, well, you're at the final table. Of course I'm here. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. Yeah. You ready for the grind? You have no online poker to play. No, I'm just ready to watch. Okay, I'm going to take a video of you taking okay. a video. Okay, cool. <laughs> I got you on video. Do, I, do you want me to sit right in your eye line like you're that? I'm not even looking up, I promise. You won't distract <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> well, we just won the pot of the tournament. Three-way action. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I start with ace, three, five. Catch a deuce and a ten, and, and just blah, 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 and there's three fours out. I'm going this way, and then uh, I, I need a two. I need a four. One four left to connect the wheel. Catch two across spade. Wheel, chip lead. Alan Kessler, you need to stop hitting on my wife. She's taken. No, I mean it's just saying. Cool it, Alan. <laughs> Gotta go catch up to my baby. Gotta make her some food on the break. Gotta make you some food, honey. I gotta make you something yummy. Are you cooking? What are you gonna make? PB and J. She's gonna make us a PB and J. PB and J. PB and J. Yes, I'll do it when I come back. I promise. Oh, come here, come here. You gotta. You can't see. So, did you see the last name I lost? I didn't see what you had. Ace two three four. What? Yep. Against uh, Dan Zach, he's been beating me every pot. Oh. We still have one point two million. I don't even know what the average is, but there's six people left. You're so good to go. Yeah, we're so good to go. Yeah. Good, you happy? So happy. Let's do coffee, okay? Okay, let's do coffee. Okay. Fires okay. up the PB and J and gives a little dance. Yep. Yours truly gonna put together a little coffee thingy. We're gonna go with what the hell? Oh, he's got the Colombian. Yeah. Dude, that's Eddie's. Colombian yeah, stuff. I won the Colombian. <laughs> I'm gonna do some Colombian, 100 percent Colombian, K-pop, whatever. Let's do it. Five handed, sitting on about 900. Uh, had a couple unfortunate events. One was Ace Deuce 3 4. Look, she's taking pictures. She's so famous. So famous. Ace Deuce 3 4 bricked out against Dan, Dan Zach. Then I picked up Deuce 3 4 5 against Dan Zach. He caught Ace Ace right in front of me. I, both times I couldn't beat a 10. So. It's pretty cool when those two guys fold it to you before you get back. Huh? Yeah, I mean, they both got bricks, so that was that. So take a little quick break and then we're back to work. This is gonna be a long night. Oh, you're gonna run into here at the World Series of Poker Final Tables. You remember a couple of years ago, we did that fun thing where you send in videos and maybe I'll put you in the main event. Remember that? Well, then you'll, you can't hide. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Hey, Daniel, my name is Tanya and you should stake me in the main event. I'm a second grade teacher and mom of three from South Dakota and have what it takes to win, skill and tons of patience. I learned to play mixed games at my grandparents' kitchen table for quarters and play weekly tournaments through the Free Poker Network. I've heard only 1% of players get a chance to play in the main event and I don't see that happening on a teacher's bankroll without this opportunity. You've always been my favorite player and to play under your wing would be incredible. Pick me and you'll make me feel as happy as my son when he won this huge pot in our family game. Look at that, Tanya, Tanya, I screwed up her name. Do that again. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm bad at that. You ask her, I say names wrong all the time. Um, I, like two of our best friends, I say their names wrong all the time. I, yeah, it's Tanya and Tyler, and I say Taylor and Tanya. I screwed up all the time. <laughs> I'm really bad, sorry. Okay, so Dan, he, he described what I'm going through right now as Chinese water torture. I had about 500 and something thousand. I played, I called once to see 4th Street, and it bandied off the entire rest. He can attest. I can't play. Like, first hand of the level, I had like two, three, four, six, and bricked off. 
could, and I made a nine, just couldn't win. But since then, literally just Chinese water torture. Yep. Getting a little impatient. Pretty soon, I'm gonna play like four, five, six. I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna gamble. <laughs> Chinese water torture is officially over and it felt exactly as you'd expect. <laughs> exactly. Three-way pot. Oh my God. So the last hand we have, uh, let's go babe. Uh, last hand is uh, three. So what do I have here? I have ace, deuce, eight against an eight and an eight. Three ways. We get it in. I catch a six. So now I need the eight, six. If I catch any one of those, uh, we're good. But uh, couldn't make a hand and got pain again. That was insane. I've never played a pot tournament like that where I folded like 75% of my stack and never had a shot. Holy smoke. Every time I would lean up, face card. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Wow. You wait till you see the, if you go like to the Poker News updates, you're going to see the hands and it's like everyone is fold, 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 fold. Yeah, cheers. The obligatory, he finds me, man. He just doesn't matter. Back alleys, whatever. I go under the sewers. Remco's in there, ready to fire. All right. I have a key now. He has a key. All right, you can hear these questions, whatever. We'll put it in the vlog. What do you got? Is, is losing in Raz even harder than in other games? I think in a way, because you're so victim to like what's coming. And like Dan Shack, I mean Van Zack. Sorry, Dan, <laughs> sorry, Dan Zack. He described it best. It was like, you know, water torture, like Chinese water torture. Because I like, I can't, I've never done this in a tournament. I don't think ever. Going from something like 550, anteing, 10K at a time to like 150. And I just never had a spot where it's like, oh, this one's close. It's like, no, King, Queen, Nine. Okay, fold, fold. Bring in. It was unbelievable. Then I finally got a good situation. Three-way double up, had the best hand, and uh, yeah, super tilting, you know? Oh, because yeah, there was a three key hands I played, ace, deuce, three, four, deuce, three, four, five, and deuce, three, four, six. Made two guys against like a guy who started with a bad one in the hole. It's It was like, Draz can make people pain, in, yeah, pain. All right, so we've taken a nap, had a chance to reflect, had a little dinner. Chef Joel made me some amazing like pasta, chicken, parmesan fake thing. Amanda, of course, came because she's the wifey of my dreams and was there to be supportive of me. Um, obviously, very, you could tell, like, I'm obviously very frustrated in the way uh, I, I busted the razz, but I had a chance to reflect, count my blessings, and, <laughs> and just be grateful and think about what I'm, what I'm grateful for. And It's been a good summer, okay? So far, and it's not done yet. We are in the running for Player of the Year. Obviously, Dan Zach is still in there, so he's going to have a lead, but... Um, you know, really, we just want to be in the top 10 within striking distance going to the main event. Uh, and then, of course, there's Europe if, you know, we continue to do well. Um, yeah, and, you know, I keep putting myself in good situations. I really thought I played great. Uh, I, I mean, like, I go back at the final table and think to myself, what decisions could I have made differently? This is part of the process for me, like, when I unwind. It's like, all right, how did this happen? What worked? What didn't work? Like, what did I do that worked? And what is there things that I could have done that could have been better? And uh, I really think I played great. I really do. Take a look at all the hands. I mean, I, mean, I folded a lot <laughs> near the end. But up until then, I thought um, 
made really good decisions. Was really focused, paid attention. So we got to take that energy now that we've had a little time to break into the next one. Never stops, right? Isn't it crazy? Month in, never stops. We've got a 10K PLO 8. And as I said in the 1500, guess what? I'm really good at that game. <laughs> Here we go. On to the next one. No rest for the weary. Okay, no more PLO 8 for this guy. We're gonna have an early night. Busted. Just a start of level nine, really? Um, kind of a goofy hand, but I would call him the blind with, well, there was a hand earlier I lost where I had like Royal Flush Draw, second low, and a pair. Um, and on the river, I made the low, second low, and got that pot and folded. Pretty sure he had me destroyed. I mean, best case is half the pot, but I think he had ace three and, and me beat. The last hand was goofy and I went for it. He was raised and called, I called in the blind with king, queen, 10 deuce, two clubs, two diamonds. Flop was king, five, four, rainbow, but one diamond, one club. Half pot bet, half pot call, I call. Turns the deuce of diamonds, which makes me kings and deuces in a flush draw. But also like ace three is gets there, right? So I have like a pot size bet left. And I thought if nobody else has the ace three, um, and if they do, I mean, we have outs. We have two pair and a flush draw. Uh, we could represent the wheel here very credibly, I think. So we move in, first player folds, second player tanks for a really long time. He finally calls me, he had ace, ace, five, five for a set of fives with diamonds. So that was Connor Drynan. So uh, we were dead. We needed a king, um, king didn't come. So, home time and watch catch up on bachelorette i guess with the honey and what else then yeah then tomorrow we got to figure it out tomorrow's a big party Ooh, the big 50 party we're doing like this uh 50 year anniversary thing should be a lot of fun maybe we'll get all dressed up and snazzy amanda will come down and um i don't know we might have a i don't know i don't know i have to look at the schedule maybe there's this maybe there's a crazy eight thing or whatever or maybe it's just a uh a sleeping day and a relaxed day until the party and a late reg and the limit hold them. I don't know. We're going to look at the schedule and find out. But another day in the books, a month in, a couple big tournaments on the horizon, as well as the main event. Stay tuned, y'all.